we are going to see the ticket number 7 for tissue club okay this is the IP version 4 layer 3 topology the client 1 and 2 is actually it's connected to aggregator switch from aggregator switch it is connected to distribution switch from distribution switch it would connect to R4 then R3, R2 and R1 then ISP router then the web server is placed in the ISP cloud okay the scenario will be the same the client one is unable to reach the external web server okay it will be always same question you'll be asking each and every questions we have to troubleshoot and why this issue is happen so always split into two category first is layer 2 then layer 3 okay if you suspecting that issue with the layer 3 just start from R4 or you can start from DSW1 okay that is distribution switch okay if you able to reach from distribution switch then the issue will be in aggregation switch or PCs if you are not able to reach from distribution switch then you should go R4, R3, R2 and R1 first to locate which router you, you are facing the issue once you located the issue the devices where the issue is occurring then you have to find the faulty technology due to which technology the issue was happened IP HSRP, RBGP, or routing, HRP, passive interface, neighbor issue, or VLAN issue, port security, or transport, anything may be. So, then what action might be taken to solve the problem? Okay, let me, let me start from distribution switch now. Okay, only I am going to use ping command, I am not at all going to use the trace root command because if you Sometimes in exam the trace root command won't work, so don't try to always the ping is the best uh, solution. You can identify the issue where it is happening. See, I'm able to reach from distribution switch to the port, so problem might be in aggregation switch or PC. Okay, let me check in aggregation switch whether I able to reach from aggregation switch. See, from aggregation switch also I'm able to reach. So go to the PC one. Check whether IP ticket, but here one thing I need to clear there is no DHCP ticket for the main version, so no need to worry about the DHCP issues. But here IP was not released, okay. So if you don't suspect that that might be DHCP issue because DHCP issue ticket was not anymore in 300 version of that. So let me go to aggregation switch and also you can check it here. It was it was assigned as a DHCP, but maximum all ticket was assigned as a static only. So this command it won't help you. If you see this, there will be still IP will be there, but you are not able to reach. Do not assign 200 or 241 from PC one. So here here you can use the trace route where the packet is getting dropped. Why the packet is still aggregation switch able to reach, but you are not able to reach from aggregation switch right sorry the from PC from PC you are not able to the best thing is you can find out you can try to reach is the minimum of just let me take R4 ok so IP interface brief so IP interface brief see this is the I fast ethernet 0 slash 0 is connected to fast ethernet 0 so okay, let's try to reach 10.1.4.3 to identify whether the issue might be aggregation switch or distribution switch see 10.1.4.5 see not able to reach this interface IP also so even the packet is not moving out ok not able to reach here also so the issue might be here or here you can check here because here VLAN all VLAN released here right VLAN configuration is done in distribution switch right this is a VLAN 10 VLAN 10 IP is released to try to reach the gate <coughs> <coughs> you try to check the gateway this is the gateway right 
this time they do this they get you okay these are just right so i will try to reach 10.2.1.2 ping okay so let me try to reach 10.2.1.2 it's a directly the VLAN IP is released by test division switch okay so you're not able to reach the distribution switch from PC also so the problem is clear it is an application switch okay what might be the problem even the PC is not able to reach the distribution switch. there might be two issues there so trunk port might be not properly configured between aggregation switch and distribution switch or VLAN was not properly configured in aggregation switch or port security okay let me check so first we will check whether vlan is configured with respect to yeah vlan is configured first it comes to this let's see that okay vlan is properly configured okay the port is trunk port is properly Configure for port channel 13 and port channel 14. Now we may identify the problem, but still we will check that. What is the port channel configuration there? Port channel 13 and 23. Port channel 13 and 23. There is no allowed VLAN, so it was allowed for all VLAN only. There is no trunk issue. VLAN is correctly mapped, there is no in the port security. The issue is due to port security. Okay, you can check here. So, IP interface if see it's showing administrative data. Why it's a violation happened, so port is automatically not administrative data. Actually, in uh, things we will see the error disabled, but this packet tracer won't support the uh, what are the ports are going in error disabled. So, let me remove the First Ethernet 0 slash 1. Let me remove for both things. First Ethernet 0 slash 1 and 2. Okay. Now, port security. Okay, just to delete the port security. No switch port, port security, right? Port should come out, right? So let me interface delete. Yeah, port was came out. Okay. So now just to check that whether sticky map was removed, port security was removed. So this command is not in effect. Okay. Even we can delete this one. Even we can remove this command till it will start working. Always it will show what packet is done. Okay, we can clear this. This is a packet, even port security is not in use. This command is uh, no use in real time. If port security was disabled, this command is this command is there is no effect of this command. Okay, port security is not there, but it's a packet tracer bug. So, we will delete this command also. Interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. And then switch port 7. Actually, it was copied to YouTube video, that's why it's getting just copy. Copy, paste, Sh shut down. No shutdown. Okay. Okay. Now it has started working, right? Ping 209.65.2.1.2.1.2. You if you leave the first packet, it will get dropped due to the up resolution. The next you will get it. Next packet you will get. So the issue was solved. Now the problem is problem about the ticket is in aggregation switch one right 
just answer one. Yeah, that is the basic issue. What is the issue? What might be the issue? What is the faulty technology? That is a port security. Okay, that is IP version four. It is a switch port security. Okay, the second answer you got to choose the switch port security. Okay, if yeah, mostly it will come switch port security only. It won't come. It will doubt if maybe layer three layer four security related issue. Okay, second answer that what is a faulty action? Delete the port security. Right. Proper enter mode interface. No switch port security. Shut down and launch port. But this answer is right. No, no need to delete that uh, port security sticky MAC address. MAC address sticky because it was used in sticky MAC address. The issue is if switch port security is disabled automatically, it will uh, consider the port security was not enabled with that port. It's a packet tracer bug. That's why we removed that uh, MAC address command that is binding MAC address and we sort out the issue. Now the ticket was over. This ticket is related to port security. See, if the problem is in aggregation switch, there would be three problems with that. One is a VLAN was not properly configured with fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 or 2. Then trunk port, that is a port channel 13. Port channel 13, the, these two ports. Port channel 13, these two ports uh, was not allowed that VLAN 10. Okay. Might be the VLAN 10 is not allowed that aggregation switch or and distribution switch that you can troubleshoot and you can easily identify. But no more DHCP ticket, so no need to worry about the DHCP issue. If the PC is not able to reach the web server, try to reach R4 minimum interfaces, then R3 interface or R2. Then if your R4 interface itself, it's not nearest interface itself not reachable, then problem is in distribution switch or aggregation switch. Even the gateway is not reachable, then the problem would be these two switches. Okay, so it was confirmed this one. She she was shot out. Okay, this is the ticket port. If you like this video, please like it and share to as many as possible. If you have any queries, just drop me to gmail.com. Okay, thanks for watching.